we heard. Yeah. 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 And can I just show you this? Ironically, this is time wasting. What are you? <laughs> what a game! What a game! I was what, there. What a game! What a game! A champagne-worthy game. Absolutely. Let's have a big drink of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> can we get a Can we get a ref in here? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I'm going to take a light out. I'm worried. Oh, was this too dangerous? Oh no! Aim it at Aim it at the audience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be gentle. <laughs> I don't need this. I'm already wasted. <laughs> it was a huge game. I was I was there, and when you know New Zealand won, I don't know if you remember, uh, <laughs> the, the whistle went off, and I turned to the nearest person in a Wallabies jersey, and I said, "Get wrecked." I was, <laughs> I, admit, I was, I did kind of overreact, and then she turned to me and said. Melanie Bracewell, I love the cheap seats. And oh. I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look good on me. But well, we'd love to reminisce, but the champagne has gone flat. <laughs> as has the segment. What are you doing? Well, it was not the biggest sporting story across the ditch. And we catch up with New Zealand's fastest sausage dog. Yes! They got an exclusive interview. Some confident. Rupert, are you going to win today? <laughs> <laughs> Look, the rules are simple. Here's how the racing works. Dogs need to get from one end to the other. There are two handlers allowed, and they can do whatever they want to get them to the other side. The motivating factor was mutt butter treats. Did it work? No, he came dead last. Oh. <laughs> Apparently that's what the Wallabies had pretty good yeah. as well. <laughs> Does not work. Well, big news across the ditch was the first Air New Zealand flight direct to New York. To see my son. Uh, who was engaged early this year. I haven't seen him for close to three years. <laughs> He's going for a bagel. I'm going to do some shopping. <laughs> it's, it's cheaper to fly to New York to get a bagel than get one at the airport. <laughs> that was a great joke, Melanie. Crack out the champagne! There you go. Now look... <laughs> Can't wait to drive home. <laughs> Keep that on hand because New Zealand's oldest woman celebrated her 109th birthday this week. How does it feel to be 109? How do you feel, Aileen? That's Jan, helping her to hear. A bit old. <laughs> <laughs> the Pakistan Prime Minister took her hearing aid. That, so. that, is. <laughs> that is. Actually, what is her secret? She um, drinks a lot of Milo. <laughs> Milo Grigio, I think. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's all right.